It's a typical day in class for two college baseball players. Until one of them collapsed. Cake Sports Director Chase Shannon is here with the incredible story. Chase? Yeah, there are plenty of coincidences in life, but sometimes things happen that seem so much more than that, such as the case for two young men in Salina whose story is much more than just a coincidence. Yeah, let's get ready. It's a little cold to be playing baseball this time of All year. You guys here? When the sun's out, the country music is blaring. Driving with my eyes closed. Things on the diamond just feel right. Spirits are high on this day for the Kansas Wesleyan Coyotes. I will be diving with this thing on. But in December of 2016, the mood was a little different. I was just happy I was there. Coyote outfielders Aaron Hurd and Rex Campbell were both in the same 8 a.m. class. I remember Rex texting me the morning of and asked if we had class, and I said, yeah. He was kind of just tapping his leg, doing his thing. We were taking notes, watching a video. Moments later, Hurd collapsed to the ground. At first, I thought he was just having a seizure. Less than 24 hours before, Campbell received his CPR certification. Call it fate, call it whatever you want. He rushed to help. Thought everything was fine and laid him on his side in the recovery position and uh, checked for a pulse in his breath and they were both gone. So I started doing chest compressions and that's when everything started happening. Sudden cardiac arrest. Not a moment to waste. Campbell performing a skill he learned at 6 o'clock the night before on his teammate. Rex, uh, he just took over the situation, took control, and uh, he kind of kept everybody else calm from what, I, from what I hear. It was three or four days in, I started waking up, I guess, um, after the incident. You know, I don't remember that. I was in the hospital for 13 days. I remember the last day and a half. From there, it was a long road to recovery having to figure out little things, like how to eat, how to walk again. Uh, I was upset that I wouldn't be on the field for three more months, you know, almost lost my life, and I'm worried about baseball. He's a stubborn, hard-headed, just strong, strong-willed individual, and, and, and I just, I had that feeling deep down all along that he was definitely gonna come out of this. Now batting for the Coyotes. Come out of this the designated hitter. He did. Number six, Aaron Hurd. Hurd returning to the field this spring. Well, I mean, it's a miracle, you know, that he's here with us today. A right fielder, a power hitter, back in the lineup, and on a Saturday in January, his first home run since returning to the field. That's gone. I knew that was, I, I kind of had a feeling, you know, going into the season, that was going to be the moment that kind of got us. And, uh, but uh, to see the emotion pouring out of him when he did get to me at third was just, it was just, it was tears of joy. A moment that may have never happened without a text message. Uh, something so simple, so small, you know, but maybe if he wasn't in class, things would be different. And a moment that may have never happened without the help of a teammate. Man, I, I, I don't know, I couldn't tell you. Um, this is God looking out, I'm thankful for Rex, you know. Um, makes for a heck of a story, but you know, yes sir. And since that home run in January, he's had three more, including today. Heard's big takeaway from this, have fun and enjoy every second of life and always be in the moment. Jim and Deb.